If you are looking for the toy to get your kids this holiday season, I'm just going to highly recommend STEM Robot Mouse Coding Activity Set. There are so many things that you can do with this game. So I'm just going to show you briefly how to use it because I really don't want to take away, you know, time from your kids' educational stemming experience. So let's check it out. The first thing I want to show you is that in addition to playing and all the fun, this set does come with activity cards. The activity cards are most definitely not a must, but they enhance the game, you know, shows you some challenges, just look at a few of them, and just ways that the kids can actually use STEM to, you know, just learn some coding. It goes from cards 1 all the way to card 20, and this is just a great addition. So, let's get to the rest of the game. Putting the board together is really easy. Is you know they, they do come with a lot of nice plastic pieces and they just kind of slip in together they are so easy toddlers you know even toddlers could do it so that's really really a nice feature something that slightly disappointed me I'm just going to show you quickly is you could see they have little lines here I do wish that this you know the borders as you can see they have nice purple borders they would fit in the borders do fit in between each tile nicely and it does create blocks for the mouse and more stemming steps, yay, that you have to add. But that's just something that kind of, uh, just something I would have done, but otherwise this is, the rest of the game is just totally cool and you'll see why. So, like I showed you before, they have a ton of borders and there's a ton of pieces, so you could really make a huge, huge set for the mouse to code along. So you add some borders, adds nice colors, it has some tunnels, which the kids do love, because like who wouldn't want to send their mouse into a tunnel to get some cheese? So, in addition to that, the last thing I want to show you is it does come with these cards. These cards are used with, you know, the STEM cards. Or what you if you what you can do for kids who need more visual feedback is kind of set up a sequence of, you know, where to push the which um buttons on the stemming mouse to push and the kids can copy you or they can actually set it up for themselves to kind of visualize how to get the mouse to the cheese. So this game just comes with so many additions. I mean I can't even tell you the kids can learn on so many levels both young and old. So let me just show you it's really simple how to use. Before you use it always make sure to clear the sequence. You want to clear the sequence, set it up, press record. Obviously this is quite easy. That's, I'm just going to do one direction now and go. Oh, there we go. The eyes lit up a little bit. It got the cheese. And the cheese is so cute. And everybody was happy. But before you get started on the actual stemming, it is very important to learn how to use the mouse. So just have your kids kind of clear the sequence and then have them just experiment. Like, let's say if I go uh, one, two, one, start. I fell off. I did not have enough playing ground there. But you know, you get the point. Just have the kids keep on clearing it and see what the mouse could do, where the mouse can go. Clear it. Let's see, go up. And let's see what happens. Now, again, I went up now. And what I love about this is that if I don't press clear, watch what I could do. I can press record, push one more button, and now bring the mouse back to start. And then again, I can add to my sequence without losing what I did before. You see that? The kids, you know, from a kid's perspective, when you're experimenting with something new, you just do one thing at a time, and it goes by these squares here. So you do one square, the next square, the next square, and the kids can really have a grasp and get immediate gratification for what they're doing and if they make a mistake well guess what you or it's too short well just keep adding to what they do but always two things to always remember always press clear when you add a new sequence because <laughs> you don't want to end up with half old half new you know it just won't work out and always remember that if it didn't work out and you added another step or two then no big deal put it back to where you started and the mouse will navigate itself naturally. So this game, I cannot tell you, is just so amazing. The kids really have to think each square is its own um, part and each arrow adds another step to, you know, where they're going, what they're doing. The 
tunnels are just fun. They're really not necessary, but come on. Look how cute they are for the mouse to just, you know, go through them. See that? It's just fun. Kids just like fun. So if you want to see this game, you know, or other games, education for your kids, guess what? Like my channel, subscribe, let me know what you think because I'm all here for kids education. I actually quit my job, started a play-based program. If you want to know more about that, check out my Patreon, you know, page below. And I'm all here for my kids, for your kids, for the kids in my program. Let me know what you think. Happy playing.